What's going on everybody, Barass Monkey here with some Medal of Honor gameplay action. Now I know a lot of you have been wondering whether or not you should go and pick up Medal of Honor, seeing as Call of Duty Black Ops is only a few weeks away from its release. So I decided to make this video and hopefully it will help you guys out in your decision process of whether or not to purchase this game. So let me just start off by saying I've had a lot of fun playing Medal of Honor recently. I went out and I picked it up at its midnight release and popped it in and just started recording. So what you're watching right here is probably the second game I've ever played on this. So I, I'm not, I don't know the maps too well yet, but I just had a little bit of fun sniping on this map. And one of the things that I noticed is that this game really reminds me a lot of some of the older first person shooter games. Now what I mean by that is that Medal of Honor is all about the gun that you choose and how you use it. There are three different classes in Medal of Honor. There's Assault, there's Special Ops, and there's Sniper. And depending on your playstyle, uh, you want to pick a class that really supports that. And if you do well with a certain class and you're able to use it effectively, then it's your gun that's going to make the difference in terms of whether or not you have a good game or not. I mean, this game is not about whether you know what angle to throw a grenade off the spawn so that you can hit a car and make it blow up on the other side of the map and get a triple kill. You will never do that in this game. Um, it's really all about how you use your gun and whether you can, you know, aim effectively and get quick kills. So I think that's a lot of fun and it really, you know, it makes it so it's more about the skill of the player than necessarily, you know, getting lucky. But the only thing that I have noticed that is a little bit frustrating, and this was true of Call of Duty 4 as well, is it is incredibly easy to spawn trap the enemy on some of these maps. And it's really frustrating on this map in particular when you spawn back behind the, uh, the one main building because there are just way too many sniper angles to be able to pick people off as soon as they come out of their spawn. And I mean that's what I'm doing here and I just rack up insane amounts of kills pretty much just shooting people as they try and exit their spawn. So that's something that I think is a little bit frustrating and hopefully they're able to adjust these spawning points on some of these maps so that's not going to happen in the future. Um, the only other thing that uh, kind of bothered me a little bit was if you look at the binoculars that you use when you have a kill streak, a lot of times it will lock onto the wall or an object right in front of you instead of what you're looking at at a distance. And this has happened to me a number of times where I've been trying to lock onto a target across the map and I wind up locking onto the wall in front of me instead and calling in a mortar strike on myself. And this can be incredibly frustrating if you are on a five or six kill streak and then wind up killing yourself, uh, you know, with your own rocket strike. So that's something that I hope gets fixed in, a, you know, a later patch or something along those lines. And the, the final thing that I wanted to talk about is uh, the, the spawning system, and this is a great example of it, is right here, I, you know, I'm the only one left on this side of the map, my team has moved, but the, the game just puts enemy players right below me. I just had three guys spawn below me, now there's one guy who just spawned on the other side wall, another one just popped up. I mean, these guys are literally in my line of sight and just appearing right there. And uh, so that's something that I, I hope that they change. And also, take a look at this grenade. The grenade explodes before it even hits the ground. So I don't know what the fuse timer on the grenades is, but I mean, it seems like it's only, you know, uh, like two seconds because a lot of times I'll be throwing a grenade and it will explode in midair before it even hits the ground. So there are a couple of little kinks in this game that I hope get worked out, but overall it's been a lot of fun to play and really enjoyable. I don't know how much I'll be playing it after Black Ops comes out, but this game I would definitely say is worth renting for sure and maybe worth buying if you're really tired of Reach or Modern Warfare 2. So hopefully this video has been able to help you out in your decision-making process of whether or not to get Medal of Honor. Thanks for watching.